things that militaries do. Now, of course, that's an eternal question. Okay? Um, philosophers, economists, politicians, and citizens have been debating what should governments do, how much should they do, how should they do it. We've been debating that you know, as long as anyone can remember, as long as recorded history. And points of view differ enormously. Okay? There is an incredible range of view about what government should do, about why it should do it, about how it should do it. I would suggest, however, that you know, most of history, most societies, with relatively few exceptions, the kinds of governments we've had are what I would call big governments. Governments that intervene in many, many ways, intervene to significant degrees, that intervene usually with the threat of force behind those interventions. That is, it wasn't always just coming to your house with a gun, but it was implicitly at the point of the gun that the government says, you have to pay such and such an amount in taxes. Because if you don't pay those taxes, sooner or later, the Internal Revenue Service, the tax collector, knocks on your door and says, you haven't been paying your taxes, you haven't been answering our letters, so it's time for you to go off the court, and when you lose, hey, you may go to jail. So governments, in my view, they intervene enormously all over the world and through most of this. What I want to talk about today is an alternative view, a small government, a very, very small government. The name of that perspective in the United States is usually libertarianism. Okay? In Europe, okay, it's frequently a different name. It's referred to as liberalism, or especially, to be completely clear, classical liberalism. In the US, to some degree other places, liberalism now means something very different than classical liberalism, and very different than libertarianism. Um, I'm happy with either of the terms libertarianism or classical liberalism. I use libertarianism because it's the one sort of that I know the best. But the ideas are going to be very much the same as what some of you may know as classical liberalism. 